The lives of two people were lost in Tuesday morning's flash flooding in Sioux County. Many unanswered questions remain. KX News meteorologist Robert Sir went to find out why this or how this could have even happened. Real true flash flooding is fairly rare in North Dakota. We just don't often get uh, high rainfall rates over a very short period of time. But that is exactly what happened in southern Sioux County Monday night through Tuesday morning. In some spots, over seven inches of rain fell, overwhelming the region's topography, leading to the washout of Kennel Road. I sat down with the National Weather Service and they tell me this was an exceptionally rare event. The rainfall rates that we were seeing from some of our uh, programs that we have in, in, in our AWIF system indicated that we were getting 200 to 500 year flows within some of these basins. One of those basins included Joe Bush Creek that traveled underneath Kennel Road. Abling tells me the culvert was no match because of how fast the creek was flowing. The type of water that was flowing here was flowing at, at 10, 20, 30 miles an hour. And at that rate, it will quickly, if it get, comes up against uh, an area of dirt, all it has to do is start to erode a little bit of a section, and it can very quickly demolish uh, an area. He adds in his 35 years, he's never seen destruction like this from flash flooding. Not in North Dakota. I haven't seen it erode this, this big of a, of a hole. I've seen dams overtopped, earthen dams, in which case there's severe erosion from that. This is the, the worst road erosion I've seen. But there's still many unknowns, such as how often is that culvert inspected, and who's ultimately responsible for maintaining that section of road. I placed calls to the Standing Rock Tribe as well as Sioux County officials and have not received a response yet. Reporting for KX News, I'm Robert Sir. As Robert said, KX News also placed a call into the Standing Rock Tribe and Sitting Bow College in the hopes of learning more on the condition of the bus driver who worked for the college. Those requests have all gone unanswered. Well, a piece